Well, we're gearing up for another exciting weekend. So we've kind of been counting down the days to this weekend comes. We've had it planned for quite a while that was on the calendar. This is that first weekend of April spring camp out. So we're kind of pretty excited about this uh, this weekend. We've got a lot in plan. Uh, we're going places that we've never been before down in South Arkansas. And then next week we will uh, have the eclipse. So there's supposed to be a a lot of people coming into uh, Arkansas over the next uh, uh, several days this weekend and going on to next week. So pretty excited. So come along with us as we go on our adventure. Well, we really don't know what it is that we're kind of getting into. Uh, I guess talking to some friends of ours they, that are going to be joining us this weekend, they said they called down there and said, the, I guess the spots are really tight. So, so tight that you can't put up the awning or your slide. Which I don't know about that. Now, come on. At least my view when I had the tight spot had a view. <laughs> so I brought it. I brought it. That may have just been the, their spot. I think our spot's not tight like that. I hope not. I'm just saying. But the one thing just wanted to kind of say, you always want to make sure this is, you know, we tried to plan enough ahead of time with this. Um, to where we can get arrived and it's still daylight because something like this with trees or if they're real tight spots or parking or anything else, uh, you may be real limited to uh, to trying to maneuver. I really would hate to do it during the dark. What are we talking about? Talk about arriving at the rules of three. Yeah, the rule of three. What are they? <laughs> 300 miles. Arrive by three or three hours. Good job. So we're driving less than 300 miles. We're not driving gonna less than three hours. We're not going to be there by three. We're not going to be there by three, but it's still going to be daylight. In this episode, we are headed to Northwest Arkansas to Mac Pines RV Park. And it's a really old RV park, mostly for ATVs. They have lots of trails. But I really wanted to talk to you the importance of backing in and know your surroundings. And we talked the rule of three, why it's important. Because if you would have came in later at dark, this would have been disastrous. But look how well the team worked and how we executed and we put in place how we got our RV in. And we worked with the halls that we made it work. And it could have been where we could have made it miserable, but we chose to make it a wonderful experience. All right, check the slide. You got, okay, good. Just got a little bit of room. They got me good? Yep, it's good. Uh, well, this is about crazy. This place is a madhouse. <laughs> Well, these spots are definitely tight. Uh, we decided to kind of invert this just enough, and it looks like our slide out will come up just enough to wear the box. But Nathan just confused me. Yeah, this is going to be interesting. The only thing about it, what we're trying to do is we're actually trying to make it where there's some space. For our doors being inverted so we have this between our awnings coming together right here then we have a nice little covered area so kind of what we're uh, trying to do so that way we can both put our steps out we're not interfering because otherwise the awning 
would, if we went the other way, then our awning would go right out in front of theirs, or we would not have the awning out. But the only downside, I've got a lower 17 inches right here on the nose. Now, I need to back over it. So, yeah, let's go and just back up. Uh, are you yeah. going to back up over the Andersons? Uh-huh. Okay. Just because that will give me a little bit more clearance over here. Because I'm afraid that's going to be really, really close. And we might not be able to get the, the bar off. So Moment of truth. Are you GoPro? I don't know. Is mom's arm short? Is it out all the way? No. Well, that's how far it can go out. That's how far it can go. Tap it, just a little bit. Just tap. There you go. Okay. It's all the way. It's all the way up. Perfect. Wait, wait. Well, definitely to say the least, this spot was mm, quite a bit challenging. So they are very tight. I think they try to squeeze as many people as they can into such a small area. I kind of wish they would make these a little bit bigger so that way people can kind of sit back and enjoy but we're going to make the best of everything you know so we're here for the next four days we're just glad to be down here glad to have a, a spot down here where the i guess the eclipse zone so to speak so but we're going to look like we're going to have a good weekend we're going to go do some hiking we're going to go do some exploring we're going to see hopefully find some waterfalls and we're just gonna pray that we have good weather this weekend. Well, good morning. Well, good morning to you. You ready to go hiking? <laughs> I am, I'm excited today. I'm ready. This is a little different setup, ain't it? <laughs> it's actually ki quite <laughs> We've got our neighbors this close. It's a good thing we know the neighbors. Yeah, no, it's a good thing. Otherwise, it'd be... Quite awkward. Awkwardness, if you <laughs> would say. We're like, they were using our, their awning and we're like, what are you putting up? Because we won't put ours out. <laughs> so we're piggybacking off each other. I mean. We could have done it the other way. But Backed up? Yeah. No, that wouldn't have been nice. It wouldn't have been. No. This, this actually works out better. It does. So, well, we will eat some breakfast. And then, and then. And then. And then we'll go hiking. We will. Perhaps. Sounds like a plan. Okay. Well, good morning. Today is a beautiful day. It's supposed to be sunny and nice weather, so we can't wait. Pretty excited. We're doing lots of great hikes. Hopefully, we see enough water for the waterfalls. We don't know what the, it's going to look like. We haven't had too much rain here in Arkansas, but down here in the Ozarks, I don't I think that's what it is, Ozark National Forest, there's a lot of uh, waterfalls and hiking trails, and so we're looking kind of forward to what that's gonna look like today. However, this little RV park that we're down here, it's kind of interesting because all the units are very close together. As you can see, not much space. We ended up, instead of backing in, we ended up kind of pulling forward. We have just enough, just enough of space course our good friend the halls so that's kind of our little setup that we got going on there it's pretty interesting but it works and we will make do for now so we'll make it happen we got our little breakfast set up going on here oh awesome i know <laughs> between the little ways <laughs> one and a half miles okay this is where it's telling us to go Ooh, this is the burn zone did we make the right decision? Uh -huh. This can't be the water for her. <laughs> I don't know this. You're, you're really gonna do it. <laughs> so here's our problem. See there? 
That's the road. That's the river. Oh, we're tough. <laughs> My dog. Mom's raking out. <laughs> Four wheel drive. We dumb. We dumb. We dumb. No, this is how you do it, Mom. Oh, pumping well? Yeah. Okay, good. Does it really work? Oh, look at that. Really? Deal. It's cold. Yeah, it works. It works. Oh, wow. And do you know what's funny? There's a pipe behind. Oh. What? A water hose. Well, that's so you can pump it. But that's a real pump. Yeah. Yeah. Isn't that cool? Yeah. Cool. But you're the Oh, this is a Oh, that's loud. <laughs> what do you think it would be? Quiet? Well, I'm right underneath it. Well, this is funny. Most people take a Jeep and ride it, but we got the big KKOA truck. Meant for to go by. Yeah, I think that trail we went on with the, like, going across the river was more made for like Jeeps or ATVs. No. Yeah. Not a big dually well, truck. Well, huh? that's why people buy big trucks so they and can go on deep roads. <laughs> hey. Well, we, got, we know we have enough tires to do it. Yeah. This is super cool. You had to go in the mountains to find a little, you be careful when you drop old the schoolhouse. Old Don't school. you leave out this area. Right? Yeah. yeah. Look at that. History yeah. of the school union. Is all this. Look at how they used to do it. This here? Yeah. I keep doing this today. I won't get, I won't get tired. <laughs> Ow! Oh. Pastor. You go up, block it up, and then you got one room. Oh, there nice. Okay, so if you want to teach. Oh, that's I mean, cool. there's a lot of thought went into this building. Yeah. For sure. So upstairs is the Masonic Lodge. It was built for the Masonic Lodge. Oh, really? Okay. And they turned it into a schoolhouse? No. Upstairs was a Masonic Lodge. Oh, upstairs lodge. was a Masonic Lodge. Yes. Wicked. The door going up there was always locked when they had, had school here. Kids oh. never did get to go up there. Okay. But here's, here's the way a lot of them got to school. Those swinging bridges across the creek. Back is, it still, up. is it still active? No. No. The, if you look, this it fell right here. It's in laying in the creek right here. It's just hooked to a tree. Gotcha. On both sides, and the tree uh, rotted and fell in, and it went. We just we scrapped it out. Nobody lived over here. We kept it up when people was living here, to where they could get out. Right here is the original school building. That, That's what according to paperwork, the school started in 1886. Uh, outhouse. Outhouse. Them them stools are still being used in the new outhouse. And the kids, you know how they had the rumor it was haunted. Somebody was sure. killed up here. All that stuff. <laughs> You know, it's amazing how these old buildings and how they, they just stand a testament of time. So this building was built, was built in 29, school here until 44. And it basically, it was still used for some dances, some community get togethers like voted here. Uh, decoration day was here. And, uh, but then it just, you know, it was hard to get across the creek. Right. The old folks died out. They quit having decorations. They quit voting here because they couldn't get across the creek. And, uh, it wasn't being used. So, so cool. now you're upstairs, no air conditioning, right? Right. So you need to get as much air in here as you can. Want to slide out? <gasps> oh, that's pretty cool. I think it's neat. Yeah, yeah that's the so cool. Little, cool. The, so the dumb old hillbillies that built this building, they had some pretty good engineering ideals. Yeah, that yeah, is pretty good. So if you will feel, come here, stand. You're, you're standing in front you, of me. You feel anything? No. Lots. Yeah. Oh wow. It, it works kind of like a wing glass on a truck. It, it does. Like it brings air in. Two holer outhouse. That means sit you and your partner next to you. What? Yes, it's a two holer. Oh, I'm it's usable. It's usable. Yeah. That way you. That way you can sit here, you and your partner. It's a boy and girl outhouse. <laughs> <laughs> is, that, is that what they actually mean at the um, like at places when yep, they say? Yeah, let's go. Let's try it. It's two holer. Uh oh. All right. Okay. There you go. Good deal. I actually had to go. I know. Right. All right. Yeah, it was kind of off the path a little bit. It was very off the path. But it was very. Uh, this guy uh, was really cool. I know. It was really neat to to meet meet him, and they kind of kept it in the family and the whole time. No, we did not find 
We did not find this, but it was definitely, uh, it's definitely very hidden. A hidden gem. Yeah, come find it. If you come to the Ozarks in Arkansas, definitely come to, uh, to the Union School. So and you can search it up on the map. I would say get a Jeep. Yeah, <laughs> or a four-wheel GI or something. <laughs> I, I, if, if there was a lot of rain, you may not be able to get across the river. You have to come the alternate route, but uh, definitely. That's so neat. cool. That was so neat. So yeah. All right. All right. Let's continue on. Let's go find a waterfall. Yeah. Nice little swim hole. Wish I would have had uh, a bait Nathan, you can swim it. Possibly. The water's like nice and green. Yeah. It's already down there. finally gonna hike we're gonna be hiking what Pam's grotto so it's supposed to be pretty neat pretty uh, nice pictures I guess I hope so I heard the trail was a little bit strenuous but it's not that far and it was worth it so we'll see come on the stick come on come on we, we, we didn't left the road <laughs> just straight up the mountain <laughs> A little strenuous. A little strenuous. Well, look at the bright side. It'd be easy coming down. I go, I go. Yeah, take, take your time. Just yeah. uh, the hardest part for sure is the start and the finish, and then reverse that. Oh, okay. okay. But it's a bit of a scramble when you get over there. All right. Like downhill, large boulders. But it's worth every step. Every step. Every good, step. Good, good call. Good call. Thank you. All right. Good one. Thank you. I said, oh, that's the waterfall right there. <laughs> you know, I like those hikes that sometimes you go hiking on some trails and you don't get much of a reward on a scenery or anything. But it definitely has uh, good reviews. I did nice. see this on all trails and seen this on Camping Arkansas. So. A lot of people talk about this and the views at yeah, different times of the year. So, ah, we'll wait and see what we got. Yeah, it is pretty uphill. It's straight up this mountain. Well, at least I'm not getting lost. Why? I said it's a nice trail. Is that here one of the smart ones? How was that it? La 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 la. Somehow we gotta get up to the top of that. It's dead end. I like these rock formations. Huh? Yeah, they're key. No, you okay? Yeah, it's shorter and shorter around here. His home. Really? Pretty, huh? Yeah, it's pretty far down. Well, should I do it or not? Do it. Kim didn't do it. She backed out at the top. It was a little bit too much. So she said for me to go down with the kids to go take some pictures. So that's what I'm doing. We'll see if I fall down this whatever ravine down below. It's pretty steep. This is definitely a trail. Uh, unless you're got good climbing skills or anything, this is pretty difficult. I kind of wouldn't recommend for most people, but not too terribly bad it is uh, pretty rough though it's like something flickering i guess i follow the light <laughs> holders are a little tough oh this is cool this is pretty cool
Oh, this is cool. This is pretty pretty. This is pretty. Wow. Well, this is pretty. This is pretty nice. Wow. Well, I guess it's kind of worth it. It is uh, kind of pretty. It's definitely a hike to get down here. <laughs> well, we survived Pam's Grotto. Uh, what y'all think of it, kids? I don't have emotions in my body anymore. <laughs> yeah. Um, I would say very high hike. Yes, it was definitely uh, probably one of the most difficult hikes. It is pretty uh, strenuous. Uh, to get all the way up and all the way down the waterfall was very pretty so you know but when you get to the top and you think you're at the waterfall you have to go down big boulders and I didn't get to the waterfall because I was like hey once you get down you have to get back up and I was like yeah I'm not dead so but it was a nice hike it wasn't I mean we, we survived so if we could do it surely anybody else can but I'd say no <laughs> I don't think we'll be doing it again. I think we'll cross that one off our list. So, all right, as we continue on, let's go find some more waterfall. Come back next week as we continue our hiking and chasing waterfalls part two. Mm -hmm.